This video will look at the merge sort algorithm. So when it comes to the merge sort algorithm, um, this is considered to be a highly efficient sorting algorithm. Uh, it uses the principles of divide and conquer, um, a little bit like the binary search um, algorithm was considered to be efficient for the same reason, it uses a divide and conquer. Um, and what it means when we talk about efficiency is that as the size of the data set grows, the time that this algorithm takes to sort the data will grow at an increasingly slower rate. So the bigger the data set, the smaller the increase in time in actually sorting it. So it scales up really, really well. So let's have a look to see what the merge sort algorithm does. So if we have a set of data, the merge sort algorithm will first of all split that data into individual items. And then what it will do is it will take each pair of items and it will compare them and it will put them in order. So the six and the two are going to be um, paired up and put into order. The one and the eight are going to be uh, paired up and put into order. The five and the three are paired up and we'll swap positions to put them in order. And the same with the seven and the four. So now we've got four pairs of numbers. So what the merge sort will now do is it will actually um, look at a pair of twos, a pair of paired numbers, and it will um, start to put them into a set of four, but in order. So the two is compared with the one. So the first item in the first pair is compared with the first item in the second pair. And because the one is the smaller of the two, it is going to be um, brought down first. Then the two is compared with the eight and the two is brought down. Then the six is compared with the eight and the six is brought down and then the eight uh, fills the space. So now we've got a pair of pairs that have now been reordered into a set of four. And the same happens with the next pair of pairs. So here the three and the four are compared and the three is the smaller, so that's going to be positioned at the start of this new um, subarray. The four and the five are compared, and the four will come next because four is smaller. Then the five and the seven are compared, five is brought down, and then the seven will fill the last space. So we've now got a pair of fours, each pair being in all, uh, sorry, each set of four being in order. So now we continue the process where the first item in each set of four is compared with each other. Uh, so the one and the three are compared and the one is smaller so that is repositioned into a new subarray at the first position. Then the two and the three are compared because two is smaller, the two is uh, positioned next in the new subarray. Then the six and the three are compared and the three is brought down because three is less than six. Then the six and the four are compared and the four is brought down. Then the six and the five, five is smaller, so that's brought down. Six and the seven is compared, the six comes down because that is smaller than seven. And then finally the seven and the eight are compared, the seven is smaller and the eight fills its uh, the last place. So now we've got um, our final array that's been sort of rebuilt if you like, but in order using the merge sort algorithm. So the steps of this are that if the list has only one item, then it's already sorted, so we stop. Otherwise, we repeatedly divide the list into halves until it can't be, uh, it can be divided no more, can't be divided any further. And then we repeatedly join the smaller lists into new lists in a sorted form, just like we saw in the previous slides.